Hello guys, welcome to this channel. My name is Amin Fatullah, a fifth year medical student in Recep Tayyip Erdogan University in Turkey. I am from Ghana. I chose medicine as a pathway since my childhood because it has been something I dreamt of since I was young. In that case, I decided to choose medicine as a pathway. Another motivation is because of the fact that my father, who was a pharmacist, had friends in the medical aspects or the medical field. Because of that, it has always motivated me to study medicine. I chose Turkey as a destination to study medicine because of the fact that I won a scholarship. That is the Turkish Bustlari Scholarship. It was granted to me when I was moving for my first year in, uh, when I was moving to my second year in University for Development Studies in Ghana. And by then, I compared the systems of the two schools or the two universities and decided that if I go to Turkey, it will it will benefit me because of the large number of students in my class when I was in Ghana. Also, I chose Turkey as a place to study because of the fact that I was able to learn new language and also know new places and then make new friends. What I like about studying in Turkey is the fact that you have the opportunity to explore around the country and looking at the fact that the Turkish Ottoman Empire was one of the largest empires in the world, it gives you the opportunity to know about their culture, know a lot of places, especially if you go to the Anatolian part of Turkey, they have a lot of historical places that you need to know. One thing I also like about studying in this country is the fact that the lecturer students relationship is very good anytime i have a problem i'm able to approach my lecturers freely without having any problem they approach students as if they are your brothers or sisters and then this is a very big motivation to students because you don't hide anything from your lecturers another thing i like about studying in turkey is the fact that students who come here without scholarships are also being granted scholarships uh, which might help them in their course of study Actually, I have no regret of studying in Turkey. My only regret is not studying SAT before coming to Turkey. If I had an opportunity, I would have studied SAT in my high school so that I could study in prestigious universities in Turkey, such as Hacettepe, Istanbul uh, Medical School, Jarapasha, because most of these schools require SAT certificate, uh, certificates from foreigners. In that case, if you don't have this certificate, you have to go in for US exams, which most foreigners sit for. After the US exams, the US exams, then you match into any program of your choice depending on your score in the exam. If I was to choose any other pathway, I think it, 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 still, it will still be medicine. Because medicine has been a place I wanted to be since my childhood. I wanted to study medicine since my childhood and it has been my childhood dream. And I think after one year, I'm going to realize this dream. So it's something that I'm always excited about. One of the places I also like to be, apart from medicine, might be trading. That's business. Yeah. But medicine is always something I would like to study any time. I will rate the educational system in Turkey 8 over 10, yeah. As we know, Turkey is one of the countries that offer very good medical training in the world. And the medical cost of medicine in Turkey is relatively low as compared to so many countries. And you are also exposed to extra modern equipment when you study medicine in Turkey. My advice to students who would like to study in Turkey or who would like to study medicine in Turkey is to know what they are after. Especially if they want to study in English medium, I will encourage them to sit for SAT or TOEFL before coming to this country. Because when they come to Turkey without these exams, it might make things difficult for them to study in, uh, in English language. And then studying in Turkish language is so much, is so hectic for foreigners because 
they treat you equally the professors or the lecturers don't treat you as a foreigner so you have to be aware of this when you are coming to study in turkey so in that case you need to study extra and i think that's one of the challenges you face as a foreigner when you are studying in turkish medium if you really enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and if you have any question about this video or if you want to know more about uh, studying in turkey you can leave your questions in the comment section and i'll answer it in the next video thank you and then god bless see you